Greetings fellow programmers, this is Pavel and this is another C-Sharp exercise, uh, chapter 7, exercise 32 from the C-Sharp how to program. We are going to calculate distance between two points. We are going to write a method called distance that calculates the distance between two points, x1 and y1, that's the coordinates obviously, and x2 and y2, which is the second coordinates. All numbers and return values should be of type double and incorporate this method into an app that enables the user to enter the coordinates of the points. So the we'll, user will uh, enter these four points and we will calculate the distance. Now to calculate the distance between two points, this is the formula. It's the x2 coordinates minus x1 to the power of 2 plus uh, the coordinates of y2 minus y1 to the power of 2 and all of it is in under the square root. So uh, we can use this uh, this uh, formula and we can also, there's also an example here, uh, the coordinates 2, 5 and 3, 1 and how it goes and we can check whether we get the same result. Here is a calculator, we can, you know, let's say create the later uh, these coordinates and this should be the dis distance so we'll have a kind of like a um, check in our own calculations to make sure that they work correctly all right so um, first thing i'm gonna ask the user for some input i'm gonna ask him to enter uh, please enter x1 and i will do also y1 so basically he will enter both coordinates and um, over here since uh, I'm asking him for one input but actually you know user has to uh, type a number press enter and type another number so uh, I'm gonna uh, store the first number that he enters in x1 variable but since this is gonna be a double everything has to be a double uh, the input is uh, string I have to convert it to double, so I will do convert that to double and I will convert whatever the user enters on that line. So console dot read line will be the input for x1 and then when the user enters it and presses enter, there will be we will ask we we won't really ask but we will expect another number which would be the y coordinates. So it's gonna be again convert that to double console dot read line. So now we have the first coordinates. So I'm just gonna copy this because the second coordinates will be pretty much the same thing. So please enter x2 and y2 coordinates, and that's gonna be also my variables x2 and y2. So now we have the input. Uh, we can. Uh, pass that input to our uh, method but let's create it first obviously so we will create public static it has to be static because we are in the main program uh, and we are calling it from main method so um, it wouldn't work without static but it's for a different lesson so it has to be static so uh, static double call it distance and it expects or we need to pass it the all the coordinates so I will pass it double x1 as coordinates double x2 I mean uh, y uh, yeah let's do x2 doesn't matter in which, which order you pass them as long as they are passed in the same order from our main method they have to be in the same order but uh, you know you could do y2 x1 whatever you want the order is not important as long as it matches the order that you actually intend or passing it from the main method so we can do double now uh, y1 and finally double y2 so that will we will pass all the coordinates and if you look at the formula uh, the easiest way to do it rather than putting everything into like one long line is to break it up let's do the calculation x2 minus x1 to the power of 2 that's gonna be our first calculation we will do the same for y2 minus y1 to the power of 2 and then we will put the 
result of this calculation plus this calculation we will do the square root so I'm just gonna create a, a variable called temp1 and remember what it was it was a uh, x2 minus x1 to the power of 2 so everything will be power of 2 so, uh, so I will do that first so math dot power of 2 and in it we have the x2 minus x1 calculation and it expects us to also enter now the actual power double y which basically the second argument for the math to the power of 2 that's why 2 if you want the power of 3 then you would write 3 but we want 2 so that's temp 1 we will do the same for temp 2 but that one will be with the with the y coordinates but it's the same same structure so power of 2 but uh, y2 minus y1 and all of it to the power of 2 and the result will be passed to the temp 2 so now we have result of this calculation and this calculation so let's add them together and do the square root and as we can do just the result uh, variable equals so it's gonna be the math dot square root and it simply is the temp1 now plus temp2 that's the partial results and um, well, the result of temp1 plus temp2 is then uh, we will do the square root operation on it and the result will is, is passed into a variable called result and that's the final basically calculation the result of the calculation so now we can return it so that's gonna be a double that's why we have double uh, return uh, over here so now we can call that method we can simply go and do variable final result equals whatever is returned from the distance uh, method so what we will call our distance method distance method and if you start the uh, parentheses you see that it expects four arguments and so it expects the x1 so I'll pass it in the same order so uh, it, the calculation is correct otherwise if I let's say passed y1 here it would actually think that this is now y1 when in fact I wanted x2 so the order is important in this case simply because uh, the order in which you pass the argument must be the same in which you accept the arguments but if I messed up the arguments uh, here uh, or mix them up as long as I mix them up the same way over here uh, uh, the calculations would be correct it picks up the correct obviously argument x2 will be x2 uh, and, uh, and so forth so uh, y1 and y2 so that's the four coordinates so it will perform the calculation with the values that we pass into it return the result of the calculation store it in our final result and now we can output it so console dot right line and uh, I'm gonna format it a little so I'm just gonna do something like distance between coordinates and this is gonna be the x1 comma and y1 so that's gonna be the argument one uh, as a placeholder and the coordinates of y1 so that's gonna be two I mean x1 sorry and y1 which is gonna be three is and that's the result which is four so so x1 y1 y I mean x2 and y2 is result so um, that's the final result and that's really all so let's uh, build it let's see if the calculation is being processed correctly and as it's building uh, the sample here is 2 and 5 and 3 and 1 as the coordinates so let's run it so the coordinates 2 and 5 and 3 and 1 Oh, I got some error here and uh, an exception okay 
and uh, the problem isn't really the calculation <laughs> I I just entered final result I forgot to pass the uh, I have the placeholders for the x1 y1 uh, x2 and y2 but I never actually replace them so uh, I have to do the x1 and y1 x2 and y2 that that's what the format exception was it was just the format of, of the output itself uh, so let's run it again on build it run it I forgot what the numbers were again so 2531 so let's try that 2531 and we got the result again distance between coordinates 2 and 5 that we entered and 3 and 1 that's the other one is 4.123 and so forth and their result is 4.123311 but this is quite an ugly uh, formatting uh, let me just uh, make it so it's uh, only two decimal places so if I go to my result placeholder here and uh, I can start and you can you get the all the options you can get currency and so forth and I want fixed point you can see that the example says basically shows one two three point four five so two decimal places so four count and F so uh, let me run that again so it was two and five and three and one and now we get the result as four point one two so that is correct so let's try the other one uh, I have the six five and nine two let's try that one six five nine two six five nine two and it says the result is four point twenty four and it says four point twenty four so yeah this seems to be working fine all right so to recap here we just collect the uh, the input we only ask for the both coordinates at the same time so when we enter the read line the first one this one basically uh, is asking for the second number uh, so you, uh, again when you enter the first one press enter it expects the second one and then it goes and asks for the other two here we have a variable result that is equal to the result of the calculation performed in the distance method so in we call the distance method and we ask or uh, pass the x1 x2 y1 and y2 coordinates to it we accept those and um, we will calculate the portions uh, of the uh, of the whole formula uh, and then we put it all together uh, in the final final formula or the final kind of uh, we, we simply put the portions of the formulas together and uh, get the final result and the final result is what is returned from this uh, from this method and passed into a final result variable over here and then we simply f uh, output a formatted uh, output into console that right line so this is all that was a uh, fairly short uh, I hope it was helpful if you like the video please leave a like leave a comment share it with your friends and I'll see you in the next video take care